Hello students and friends. Welcome back to my session on PLC in 20 days. We are on day 10. Maybe in the next class, maybe uh, I will tell you how to use the HMI interface also for the program. Right? Uh, maybe tomorrow with one exam, one uh, practical product, I will explain. Then after that, the next section in the next, se next session, I will teach you how to use the HMI interface along with the PLC board. Okay, today we will see one problem and the simulation. Okay, it is a, it is a problem given in uh, the Mitsubishi PLC manual, Japan. It is a conveyor control. They asked us to write a program that uses X10 and X11. X10 and X11 means uh, uh, ninth input and uh, tenth input okay but we have we will be using only um, mr14 you know only it has only eight uh, inputs okay that is why instead of x10 i used x0 instead of x11 i use x1 otherwise the problems remain the same uh, m1 m0 is a large contact remain on for the entire cycle shut off after the last conveyor is off okay when the start button that is x0 extend in the problem actually x0 x0 is pushed on then it turn on the outputs y0 to y7 means eight outputs but fortunately or unfortunately in our board we have only six outputs so instead of y7 i use up to y5 y0 to y5 six outputs that is another difference otherwise the problem remains the same that is instead of eight conveyors in our case it has only six conveyors so these outputs are six conveyors that must be turned on in order each conveyor comes on after one second after previous conveyor comes on so that means the moment x0 is pressed on uh, initially conveyor one y0 on after one second y1 on after one second y2 on after one second y3 after one second y4 after one second y5 okay when all conveyors on so all y0 to y5 all are on now when all conveyors are running five seconds so then it starts turning off in the reverse way that turn that uh, they were turned on one at a time that means so all at this particular point all y0 to y5 all six y's are on it will be on for 5 seconds after 5th second y5 off after 6th second y4 off 7th second y3 off and so on ok for that we have to write a program mm, for that uh, I used a program file name called 04 conveyor control version 1 so this is the file 04 conveyor control version 1 so this is the program before explaining from the top let me explain from the bottom then only it will be understandable to you this uh, this m5 is for the wi-fi that is a sixth motor the sixth motor is on and it is it remains on for five seconds actually 5 seconds that is what is given here that is what is given here so 5 seconds means 50 so prior to that one second before the fourth uh, fifth motor would have been on so one second prior and one second after F 10 plus 50 plus 10 70 so the duration of on for the fifth motor is 7 seconds I think you got the idea okay again I repeat the last motor Wi-Fi should be on for 5 seconds as per this statement but one second prior to it the four, fifth motor is on one second prior to that so one second plus five seconds six seconds and one more second because fifth motor for uh, on for five seconds after that uh, sixth motor sorry the fifth motor will be off after one second okay that means one plus five plus one 7 seconds that is what is given here for the fourth motor uh, for the fifth motor sorry then uh, similarly for the fourth motor plus 
1 second prior, 1 second after. So, 70 plus 20, 90. Then plus 20 for the third motor, 110. Second motor, plus 10, 110 plus 20, sorry, 130. The first motor, 130 plus 20, 150. Okay, so this is how I write all thing. Now we'll come to the program right from the first. Now the moment the X0 is on, this M0 timer, this loop will be running for 150, uh, 150 by 10, 15 seconds. Then it should be lashed. M0 should be lashed. That is why M0 is lashed for 15 seconds. In the same way, the M1 trigger is there this m1 is triggered this m1 this is the m1 loop m1 is triggered only when t10 is triggered but go to t10 t10 will be on only after t10 will be triggered only after 10 seconds uh, sorry 1 second k 10 by 10 1 second so after this is on this is on out 1 second after that so then the next loop will be triggered for 13 seconds the next loop for for the sec third motor for 110 sec uh, 11 seconds fourth motor for 9 seconds fifth motor for 7 seconds the last sixth motor is for 5 seconds okay now this is the output actuation m0 duration y0 is on during one m1 duration y1 is on second motor third motor fourth motor fifth motor sixth motor now i'll run the simulation here okay i don't want to don't you need not uh, see the top okay once i in the simulation once i switch on and switch off momentarily the x0 the loop will be running the loop will be running so we will see this loop only alone in the, in the simulation now I am switching on the simulation Again, as per the problem before uh, seeing the simulation, again I, I I repeat the problem. Okay, the moment X0 is pushed on, first motor should be on. So Y0 must be on. Then after one second, Y1 must be on. After one second, Y2. After one second, Y3. After one second, Y4. After one second, Y5. At this point, all on for five seconds can continuously after the fifth second this will be off then after one second this is off 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 finally after one second y0 is off so this is the logic okay now we will see the program force on and force off now one second 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 third second fourth second fifth second sixth second it remains for five seconds Off after one second, four off after second second off after one second after one second after one second. You got it? Let me simulate once again. Force on and force off. First motor after one second after one second after one second after one second. Five seconds all on. After that, Y5 off. After one second Y4 after one second Y3 after one second Y2 after one second Y1. Finally Y0 after one second. Okay, so this is how you can write a program. This say this program, I think yesterday I showed you about the physical board, you know. So that had uh, six LEDs. Six LEDs can be correlated with these six motors. Uh, six motors actually. Okay, so this will be sequential learning. Here itself you would you would you have seen now. Okay, let me close the simulation.
you see it has uh, one it uses 108 steps 109 step including this end 109 steps actually this particular board uh, you, you can go up to 3000 steps actually okay so that means uh, it is not even uh, three percent we utilize only three percent of its capacity okay so hope uh, you understood so i will copy this problem and this uh, file as a uh, gx developer file i will zip it both so you can unzip and you can run it okay maybe tomorrow we will see the same program again maybe with a different way of programming different way of programming okay i in one of the session i already told you if a problem is given to you in the first instance try your level best to solve it that is reach the target after reaching the target don't uh, stop with that go for optimizing the target optimizing the solution okay then only you will think of start you will start thinking about different way of uh, solving the problem so there may be more than one two methods available say suppose say there are three different methods available means you know try to know all the three different methods and then you see which is the best which is better comparing the three different methods available to solve this yeah problem okay so with this wind wind up so subscribe my channel inform this to others so then they will also gain some knowledge from my sessions not only on this uh, plc also on uh, solidworks uh, solid modeling uh, and today i started uh, with uh, 3d printing also uh, the third one is already now thank you